to discover our true self, we need a different kind of knowing. You know, and this is probably evident if you are also familiar with the walking, we say often that information is incomplete to produce lasting transformation. It does not. It is helpful, it is a starting point, it is necessary, but it is not enough. We are not transformed by knowing. It is not about books. If we read many, many, many books, we might know a lot about stuff, but it doesn't mean that we're going to be transformed. It is not knowing of self alone. It is knowing of self in relation to. First, in relation to God, yes, but also in relation to others. And I would add, it's in relation to ourselves this triad of relationships that we live in all the time. How I'm relating to me. Have you have an experience of how are you relating to you? You know, we talk about the inner dialogue that we have, your voice of shame. How are you treating you? Like, how do you see yourself? Or how do you happen with other people? Probably that is the relational that we understand easier, in an easier way. Right? And in relation with God. How how this experience is teaching you something about God. Transformation and knowledge is also knowing that is reflected. You know, I believe that um, we have less and less time for reflection as culture continues, being faster and faster. Transformation and knowing requires reflection. Traditionally, in faith walking, we talk about information, practice, and reflection. And I think that reflection is, is one of those practices that really nurtures our soul as we present our reflections to God. God speaks to us in reflection. Anybody who, who journals, anybody who prays, actually, you know, who, who meditates will tell you. But sometimes that is the thing that get, get to the last, right? We have full of things and we need to learn to understand and to reflect. I was just reminded of that as, as you were sharing. And another quote that I've got written on the same page, and I just spotted it, it's from one of David Benner's other books. Um, but it says, transformation demands more than a momentary experience of love. It demands su sufficient basking in this love that being deeply loved becomes the foundation of your identity. Um, yeah, just really, really simple, but really powerful words. 